How is everybody feeling today? Slow. Slow. <laughs> Slow. Well, that's fair. That's fair. New year. Getting back in the swing of things. Getting back into... Um, oh, stop. Is that a froggy blanket? Yes. This is a froggy blanket. Yes. <laughs> this is a froggy blanket. We don't have much time for frog in class, but the blanket's nice. There's way worse things we could be doing than frog. There is. There is, like Amanda's like toe blanket slidey core thing. Mm, no. No. Okay, everybody has a block or two. Yes, and we all have the blankets. And I'll leave these little guys on. It's good in here. <laughs> oh, okay any special requests for the new year maybe it's your first class of the new year maybe it's your first class well it's got to be your first class with me of the new year for sure Are you gonna do pigeon? yeah totally you can do pigeon on your back you can do pigeon on the ground whichever way you want to do pigeon we'll I'm get there the, the totally totally yeah. so maybe some lizard and quad stretch got it well, welcome. It's exciting. Okay, um, let's get started then. Child's pose. And notice the contact that you're making with your mat. Like take a moment here to get present to your fingers on the mat. Feel the texture of your mat the tops of your feet pressing into the mat. And know that everything is connected. The whole of the everything, the whole is the goal. Like the journey is the thing. Like the yoga that you do here on your mat is not a separate compartmentalized thing it touches every aspect of your life the tools that you learn here on the mat you put into play consciously unconsciously throughout your day work friends family it's all intertwined so get connected to your mat get connected to yourself through getting in touch with the physicality of this posture. Downward facing dog. <clears throat> Walk your feet to your hands, ragdoll. And come up to stand, hands at heart center, eyes open. Samastitihi. We'll begin with three ohms. Get connected to the audibleness of your physical body. Breathe in. Oh. reach up, look up, look back, exhale forward, fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale, plant your hands and flow high plank through low plank, upward facing dog, press toenails down, downward facing dog, hips high. And notice this downward facing dog as you're taking your five breaths, bring your hands wide. Let your pinky fingers touch the edges of your mat. Give your shoulders some space. Fingers spread wide, index fingers pointing forward. 
Slight bend to your knees. Ujjayi breath. In through your nose. Seal your lips out through your nose. Hug skin to muscle to bone. Feel the connectedness of your skin to your body. From your periphery inward, pull in. Full breath. Beautiful, big, loud exhales. One more big breath right here. Bend your knees low. Look at your thumbs. Step, hop, jump, top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Ground down, reach up. Exhale, fold. Half lift, create a long spine. Then flow, plant your hands, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, press your heart forward, breathe in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Five breaths, again notice, did your hands go back to the default placement? Pinkies wide, shoulders need space. Three more big breaths, just like that. Breathe in, breathe out. Energetically hug into center line. Connect into your center by your muscle energy. Big breath. Exhale, bend your knees, bottom of your exhale, step, hop, jump, top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Extended mountain, reach up, look up, bow. Half lift, inhale, follow your breath, flow, high plank. Breathe out as you exhale through low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Downward facing dog, hips high. Five breaths. The whole is the goal. The journey is where it's at. And as part of that, you are connected to everything. Everything you do is connected to everything else that you do. And you can't do wrong in one area of your life and expect to do right in all the others. So if you hold yourself back on your mat, if you keep pulling back from your edge, from getting too sweaty, from whatever, just look at that. Because the journey is the process. That's where all the fun is, it's in the journey. Take a big breath in, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, step, hop, jump, top of your mat, halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, fold, inhale, extended mountain, press down, reach up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, Flow, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, press the mat away. Downward facing dog, lift your hips, five breaths. Skin to muscle to bone engagement. Slight bend to your elbows, slight bend to your knees. Get into the physicalness of your body. You can get into the physicalness of your body by working your body. by noticing your breath, your heat, your everything, your everything's going up as you do these sun salutations. You're increasing your heart rate, your blood flow. Take a breath in, bring your knees two inches off the mat. Look to the space between your thumbs, spring loaded, jump there. Halfway lift, yeah, forward fold, extended mountain, root down, rise up. Follow your breath, exhale, bow. Inhale, half lift. Flow with your breath from high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, full inhale. Downward facing dog, full exhale. Five breaths.
<laughs> breathe in here. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, jump. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, press down, look up, look back. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, flow. High, then low, upward facing dog, full breath in. Downward facing dog, five breaths. <coughs> At the bottom of your fifth breath, take the next sun salutation on your own with your breath as the measure of time in each pose. One pose, one breath. Get into the physicality of your body. Move your body with your breath. Tune in to what is happening in your body and just notice and flow. Flow like water, organic movements, and meet in downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, again, empty, inhale here, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, step, hop, jump, top of your mat, halfway lift, fold, big toes come to touch, chair pose, sit deep, reach high. Take a breath in, sit a little deeper, squeeze inner thighs in, fold, halfway lift, flow, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, hips high, warrior one, right side, step big, move your body, ground down, squeeze in, reach up, flow. Plant your hands, move through your vinyasa, using your breath as the guide. Downward facing dog, warrior one, left side, step big. Ground down, squeeze in, reach up, breathe in. Then flow, plant your hands, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, five breaths. Ground down through your first finger and thumb knuckle. Fingers spread wide. Slight bend to your elbows, slight bend to your knees. Breathe in. Breathe out, again breathe in, bend your knees low, top of your mat, halfway lift, fold, chair pose, one breath, sit deep, exhale, fold, halfway lift, breathe in, flow, high to low. Enjoy the entire process of your vinyasa downward facing dog warrior one right side step big press down squeeze and reach up lift up look up then plant your hands and flow high plank low plank upward facing dog breath comes in downward facing dog step big warrior one left side root down squeeze in reach up look up Flow, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, let it go, five breaths. Mm, yeah, getting warm, heart rate going up, breathe in, breathe out. 
tune into the entire process of being here on your mat, the entire process of you being you in your body right here, right now. Take a breath in. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, jump, halfway lift, breathe in, fold. Chair pose, one breath, sit deep, reach your fingers high. Exhale, fold, halfway lift, inhale, flow, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, step big, warrior one, right side, plant, root, reach, flow, move, breathe, downward facing dog, warrior one, left side, step big, press down, pull in, reach up, look up, Flow, plant your hands, high plank, low plank. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Mm, so good. It is a gift to be here, to be alive and be on your mat in your body. It's a gift. Can you see it as a gift? Even when things aren't rosy, when things aren't the way that you would like them to be, can you be aware of the connectedness of the good to the bad, the yin to the yang, the in-breath to the out-breath? Extend your right leg high behind you. Flex your foot like you mean it. Bend your knee, stack your hips, flip your dog. Reach. Press your hips up towards the sky. Send your gaze towards the front of your mat. Maybe you see the earth underneath you. Lift higher, reach bigger, breathe. Side plank, right hand presses down, right foot presses down. Right away, lift your top foot. Flex your top foot so strong. Downward facing dog, let it go. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe out, lift your left leg strong and straight, flex that foot, bend your knee, stack your hips and flip your dog. Press down through your heels, reach, peel open, lift your hips, reach bigger. Side plank, left hand presses down, left foot presses down, press down, lift your top foot right away, flex your top foot. Take a breath here. Downward facing dog, let it go. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Again, yeah, make some noise. <sighs> yeah, pretty warm by this point, I know, I get it. It's so good. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Step big and bring your front thigh parallel to the earth right away. Pelvis low, back heel high. Ground down through the toe ball mound of your front foot and your front heel. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Look up. Bring your hands to heart center. Revolve to the right, crescent lunge. Bring your elbow to your knee, your knee to your elbow. Press them into one another and then open your arms right away. Left fingers down, right fingers reach. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another. Press your arm into your knee, your knee into your arm. Open up warrior two. Front knee, keep it right over your ankle. Stay deep into that front thigh. Gaze over your front middle finger. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Extended side angle, right side. Stack shin over ankle. Thigh parallel with the earth, press down through your back pinky toes. Take a big breath here, let it go. Breathe in, vinyasa, plant your hands. Move through your high plank, your low plank, the up dog, the down dog. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Take up the entire space of your mat, huge stance. Feet wide. If you're wobbly, take your feet wider. Press your right hamstring up towards the ceiling. Press into my fingers. Yes. Yes. 
hands to heart center, revolved crescent lunge towards the street. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow and press. Open your arms, squeeze your inner thighs in, your belly button in, your bottom ribs in as you press out through your fingers. Take a breath here. And like you're casting a spell, warrior two. Shazam, yes. Shazam, flip your front palm. Reach up, reverse, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Then flow, plant your hands. Oh, extended side angle. Oh, 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 extended side angle. I got excited. Stack knee over ankle. Press down through right pinky toes. Take a breath here. Get longer through your extended fingers. Yeah, take another breath. Now flow, plant your hands. High plank, low plank, up dog, and land in downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, step, hop, jump, top of your mat, halfway lift, fold. Chair pose, sit deep as you inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Get long through your spine, breathe in, twist to the street, breathe out. Press, elbow to knee, knee to elbow, open your arms just like you did before. Sit your hips lower than your heart, squeeze in. Can you savor even this opening, this chair, I know, forward fold, let it go. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, sit deep, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, get long through your spine. Exhale, twist to the wall. Press elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Squeeze into center line, spread your arms. Sit your hips lower. Take a breath in. Let it go, yes. Take a breath in, forward fold, let it go. Toe heel your feet, hips width distance apart. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. And let your elbows go wide. Pull your chest towards your thighs. Press down through your heels and press up through your sits bones. Engage your hamstrings, active hamstring stretch here. Drop your head, shake it yes, shake it no. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your big toes, take gorilla pose, palms all the way underneath your feet. Hands all the way underneath your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get that connection. To connect your toes to your wrist creases. Drop your head. Drop your head. Press up through your sits bones. Breathe. Release your palms. Take crow pose. Knees to the backs of your triceps. Press your sits bones up towards the ceiling. Squeeze into center line. Squeeze your toes in towards one another. Little pinchers, little salad tongs. For five, four, three, two, flow it out. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, take that giant breath in. Downward facing dog, let that breath go. Breathe in, reset, breathe out. Again, fill up, let it go. Breathe in, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, step, hop, jump, top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Catch your hips with your hands. Physicalness, root down, rise up. Set your drishti, find your spot, and then come into eagle with your right thigh up and over your left thigh, your right arm up and under your left arm. And squeeze into center line. Squeeze into center line, pull belly button in, bottom ribs in, shoulder blades, Squeeze them together on your back as you press your hands away from your face. We'll be here for five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, like you're casting a spell, change sides. Eagle, left thigh over, left arm under. Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders and then pull your shoulder blades together on your back as you pull in the center line. We'll be here for five. One, two, three, four, change sides. And we'll be here for five. One, two, three, four, change sides. Eagle second set. We'll be here for five. One, two, three, four, come to stand. Set your drishti. Bring your feet to face 12 o'clock. Outer edges of your feet parallel with the outer edges of your mat. Yeah, get in touch with the physicality of your feet. Standing leg raise, bring your right knee into your chest. Root down through the sole of your left foot. Flex your right foot, wake it up. Maybe you take the yogi toe lock, maybe you just hang on to your knee. Makes no difference. The physicalness of the pose is the same. Extend your right leg out towards the chakra wall. Extend your left arm towards the street. Maybe you cactus your arm. Send your gaze to the street. Pull in as you press out. Pull in as you press out. Come back to center, kick your foot. Reach your fingers high, get long through your fingertips. And again, like you're casting a spell, intentional airplane pose, arms back by your sides. Right leg extends back long, foot flexed. Drop your right hip two or three inches. Lift from the inseam, chin out of your chest. Take a breath here. Hands to heart center, half moon, left hand down to the earth with spider fingers or use a block, blocks are awesome. Use a block to stack your shoulders, stack your hips and look back. Can you see your toes of your extended leg? Yeah, lift your back foot two inches higher. Send your gaze up to your top hand. Take a big breath here. Bring a big bend to both knees. Go for the bind, go for chapasana. Bend both knees, reach back, grab your toes, your ankle, and then kick your foot into your hand and spin your heart up towards the ceiling. Take a breath. Which hand? Which hand? The right, right hand. Yeah, right hand grabs right foot. <laughs> right hand grabs right foot. If you bend your knees a lot, you can get the foot. And then kick. Feel the peeling open, kick, and spin your heart towards the ceiling. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Join both feet on the mat and come to stand. Yeah. Reset. Reset with your breath, reset with your drishti. And we'll work through all of those poses on the opposite side. Bring your left knee into your chest. Flex your foot right away. Belly button pulls in, bottom ribs pull in. Take the toe lock, don't take the toe lock. Physicalness of the pose is the same. Pull in as you open out. Pull in as you open out. Steady gaze, steady breath. Come back to center, kick your foot forward, reach your fingers high. And then with the Shazam, a slow Shazam airplane, intentional fingers, intentional foot, chin out of your chest, dropping your left hip, yes. Press out more through your back heel. Slight bend to your standing knee, yeah. Hands to heart center, half moon, right hand stack. Stack left shoulder over right shoulder. Look back, can you see your tippy toes? Can you see the 
toes on the end of your foot. That's the goal right here. You can see your toes, lift your back foot higher. And now bend both knees a lot, reach back, grab your foot, grab your ankle and kick, kick your foot into your hand. <laughs> and slowly spin your heart towards the ceiling. Slowly, 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 slowly. Look up, lift up. Good work, yogis. Bring both feet down to the mat and come up to stand. Breathe in and breathe out. Dancer pose, right foot roots into the earth. Reach your right arm high. Left hand grabs the inside of your ankle or foot. Yeah, squeeze your hips in line with one another. And then wake up your back toes. Put them on the ceiling. Pull in as you press out. We'll be here for five. One, two, three, Four, change sides. Intentional. Notice the physicality of your feet. What is happening? Pulling energy from the sole of your foot all the way up into your body, out your extended foot, out your extended hand. We'll be here for five. One, two, three. Four, change sides. And come right into it. We'll be here for five. One, two, three, four, change sides. It's all learning. It's all learning where you are in space. Come right into the pose. One, two, three, four. Come back to stand. Take a breath in. Let it go. Root down through your right foot and come into tree pose. Bring your left foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh, above or below your knee. Yeah, press them in towards one another and then send your knee towards the back of your mat. Pull your belly button and your bottom ribs in. Lift your heart towards the ceiling. Send your fingers towards the ceiling. Look up and lean back. Look up and lean back. Maybe you see the wall behind you. Take this to your fullest expression. We'll be here for five. One, two, your place to explore. Four, hands to heart center, and change sides. Set up your feet, <clears throat> set up your foundation, set your drishti, and pull in, press down, lift up, look up, lean back. We'll be here for five. One, two, three, four. Hands to heart center, join both feet on the mat. Take a breath in, reset, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, press down, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, flow, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, lift your heart. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Yeah, breathe in, breathe out. Step your right foot forward and come into triangle on your right side. Set up your foundation, use your tools, use the bricks, use the blocks. Create space in your right side body. Slight bend to both knees. Press down to the pinky toe edge of your back foot. Full breath in, full breath out. Breathe in, let it go.
side facing wide angle forward fold however you would like to transition come into the pose bring your feet wide bring your fingertips back in line with your toes and then turn your hands around and crawl your fingers towards the chakra wall and drop your head notice your feet slight bend to both knees Maybe find some movement from side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. Turn your fingers around to face the street. Halfway lift, inhale and come up to stand. Set up for pyramid pose, right toes point forward. Left foot comes halfway up your mat. Yeah, wide stance with your feet, short stance front to back. Just enough that you can press down through your back heel. Maybe you have your blocks handy. Reach your fingers high towards the ceiling. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Get long through your spine. Hinge, reach forward, reach. And then bring your fingertips down to the earth or to a block in front of your right toe. Press down through your back heel. And send your nose towards your right pinky toe. Bring your back foot a little bit wider. Give your hips some space over here. Yeah. And point your toes towards the front corner of your mat. Yes. Now press down through your back heel. Perfect. Squeeze into center. Big breath in. Big breath out. Twisting triangle. Left hand stays in the inside of your right foot. Reach your right fingers high towards the ceiling. Spin your heart towards the chakra wall. Squeeze in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Let it go. One more big breath. Flow. Plant your hands. Move your body. Vinyasa. High plank to low plank. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Left foot steps forward for triangle. Use the tools. Use the tools that you have. Breathe. And come up to stand. Side facing wide angle forward fold with the bind. Clasp your hands at the small of your back. Make a tight fist. Press your palms in towards one another. Slight bend to both knees. And drop your head. Get into the physicalness of this pose. Notice the connectedness to your mat. come up to stand and transition to pyramid pose left toes point forward right foot comes in halfway up your mat feet are wide stance is short front to back squeeze in hinge reach forward use the block in front of your left toes press down to your back heel as you send your nose towards your left pinky toe. Big breath in, big breath out. Twisting triangle, right hand stays inside your left ankle, left fingers reach for the sky. Press down through your back heel, glue it to your mat. Pull your belly button in now that you've glued your heel down. Full breath in, full breath out. One more, breathe in, flow on your exhale, high plank to low plank. <clears throat> Upward facing dog, full breath in. Downward facing dog, full breath out. So good, so good, so good. I know, it's so good. <laughs> you 
Shift your weight forward into a high plank. Lower down slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms back by your sides. Palms face your mat. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. What you resist most, you need the most, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. That's my experience. That's my experience. Locust pose. Rise up. Breathe in. Fly high. We'll be here for five, four, three, two. Lower down. Take a breath in. Let it go. Rise up. Locust pose. Breathe in. Fly high. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Floor bow. Bend your knees. Grab your feet. Grab your ankles. Squeeze into center line. Bring your knees closer towards one another. Flex your feet. Stamp them on the ceiling. Rise up. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Breathe in. Breathe out. Floor bow. Second set. Squeeze in. Maybe you bring your knees really wide to get the grip. I know I have to. And then squeeze your knees in towards the center of your mat. Flex your feet. Make little hooks with your feet. Yes. Rock side to side. Maybe you get all the way over. Maybe you don't. Explore your body. The physicalness of this pose. So good for three, two, one. Look like you enjoy this. Release. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. I know this is about the time where I want to burn the room down too. I get it. Upward facing dog. Upward facing dog. For five, four, three, two. Downward facing dog. Oh, so good after that. Come down to your knees and set up for camel pose. So good. So good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I will get out of your drishti. Camel pose. Pull in, belly button, bottom ribs. Lift your heart. Look up and lean back. Pull in as you look up and lean back. For five, four, three, two. Slow, come out of camel. Untuck your toes, sit back on your heels. Reset, breathe in. Breathe out. And camel second set. Pull in. Lift up. Intentional movement, intentional breath. The physicalness of this pose. Be here. For five, four, three, two, Release it back on your heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Set up for bridge pose. Roll over onto your back. And come right into the pose. Touch your heels with your middle fingers to set up the distance. Feet and knees, hips width distance apart. Maybe you use the block as your measure. and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Press down through your heels. Maybe you clasp your hands at the small of your back, walk your shoulders underneath you. If you do that, press your fists down into the earth. Press your hips high towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. One clearing breath in, one clearing breath out and then rise up for bridge or wheel. This is number two. We will do six bridge or wheel. This is number two. Come into it right here, right now for five, four, three, two, one. Control lower down. Clear breath in, clear breath out. And number three, rise up bridge or wheel for five, Four, three, two, one. Lower down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rise up. This is four. Bridge or wheel. 
five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. Rise up. Bridge or wheel. For five, four, three, two, one. Control. Lower down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rise up. Last one. Last bridge. Last wheel. Press down. Rise up. For five, four, three, two, one. Control. Lower down. So good. Take Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Touch in. Touch in. The physicalness of this pose. Extend both legs up towards the ceiling. Flex your feet. Pull your toes back towards your face. Clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. Press up through your heels. Lower your right leg down to a hover. Keep flexing your right foot strong. Notice the physicalness of this posture. Lift your shoulders up off the mat and pulse towards your left pinky toe for 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring both legs up towards the ceiling, shoulders down. Lower your left leg to a hover. Flex your foot strong and pulse towards your right pinky toe for 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a breath, reset. Exhale, let that go. Bring your hands underneath your tailbone, legs straight up towards the ceiling. Flex your feet strong. 30, 60 legs. Flex your feet and lower your legs 30 degrees. We will do six of these. This is one. Lower another 30 degrees. That makes 60. Hover your feet. Look at your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your legs up, shoulders down. That was one. We're going to do six. Number two, 30 degrees. Lower your feet. Then another 30. Hover your toes. See them. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your legs back up. Number three, lower down 30. Again, hover your feet. See your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your legs back up. This is number four. Lower down 30. Then another, feet to a hover, one, two, three, four, five, bring your legs back up, shoulders down, number five, lower down, 30. Then again, hover your feet, flex your feet, one, two, three, that was all five, bring your legs back up, shoulders down. Last one, 30, 60. Feet to a hover, see your toes, one, two, three, four, five, hug your knees into your chest. So good. Yeah, breathe in, breathe out. Abdominal twists, clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. Extend your right leg long, flex your foot, like pow, kick out your foot. Yes, bring your right elbow to your left knee. Switch sides, kick your left foot, pow, pow, for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hug your knees into your chest. Breathe in, breathe out. High boat. 
Last tiny little bit, you know, high boat. High boat, we'll do three. Lift your heart towards the ceiling. Activate your toes, I know, I know. Low boat with control. High boat, hug it in. Low boat control. High boat, low boat. Last one, high boat, control, low boat. Release, full body stretch. I know, full body stretch. It's not easy being an accountability partner. I want to let you off the hook, but I know that's not what I'm supposed to do. Yes, accountability partner. I know, right? I know, it is, because I want to let you off the hook, but that's not why you came here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, downward facing dog. Exactly, downward facing dog. Totally, totally. To uh, it, extend your right leg strong. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. I know I need to be invited to try harder. I know that I can do more than what I'm being asked, but I won't unless it's invited because I'm inherently lazy. Crawl your fingers forward, come into sleeping pigeon. Keep your feet active, pressing down through the pinky toe edge of your front foot and the top of your back foot. And even though that I know that the work that I do on my mat facilitates my life off the mat, I hold back. I know it's all connected because how I show up on my mat is how I show up everywhere. I know that. So it's a, it's a constant battle. It's a constant struggle against my inner sloth. Totally, totally, totally. And I've said it before, I teach the class that I need and want to take. Yeah. Because when it all comes down to it, I mean, I'm connected to me. I'm my own accountability partner. I just need to tap into that instead of waiting for somebody else to do it for me. It's, 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 it's a challenge. It's hard, but it's doable because it's so much easier to just not. I know. Downward facing dog. And then change sides. Change sides. to the pose. And set up double pigeon. Bring your right leg around. Stack your shins on top of one another like fire logs so that your top shin, the ankle is on the outside of your bottom knee. Flex your feet a lot. Use the blocks. If your hips are really tight, put a block in between your knee and your bottom ankle. But press out through flexed feet. Sit tall. Totally feel this in your hip flexors all day long, totally. Press out through the soles of your feet. Breathe. Crawl your fingers forward. Find that sweet spot where you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to stay right here. And notice that for a little bit. Just notice that. How leaning forward changes this posture. And switch sides. Mm -hmm. Flex your feet. And 
come back up to seated, set up for frog pose, fold your mat in half towards the back of the room. Use the blanket under your right knee, everybody face towards the street. Mat folds in half towards the back of the room. Mexican blanket is underneath your right knee. Left knee is on the mat. Head is facing Nebraska. Frog pose. Frog pose. Plenty of space. Thigh bones come out of your hip sockets at 90 degrees. Feet are flexed strong. Press your big toes, the edge of your big toe into the mat, into the ground. <clears throat> maybe you use a brick underneath your chest, maybe you use your forearms. Actively press into the knee that's on the blanket. Flex your feet, flex your feet. Pull your toes up towards your knees, yes. Actively press the knee into the blanket and give it a scoot away, a scoot open. And then pause. Once you've scooted, pause. Breathe in for that. Notice all of the stuff. Yeah, notice all of the sensation. I know. And then maybe you give the knee another little scoot. Even if it doesn't move, you try. Breathe into that. Long, steady breath. We'll be here for one minute. One minute. Can you stay fully present into what's happening in your body and just notice it? Keep flexing your feet. Allow whatever is gonna come up to come up. And just be here in your body. Just be here. Thirty more seconds. Slowly crawl your way out of frog. Bring your legs back together. Let your belly come onto the earth. Pause. Yeah. Unfold your mat, bring your mat back out. Uh, seated single leg extension with your right leg long. Bring your left foot to your right inner thigh. Press down through your sits bones. Maybe you reach your fingers up towards the ceiling, crawl them towards your extended leg. Pull your heel in towards your body to fully engage your hamstrings. Slight bend to your left knee, whatever leg is extended. Doesn't matter, we'll get both sides. And then change sides. Actively digging your heel down into the mat and pulling it back in towards your body for an active hamstring engagement so that you're stretching the muscle and not the attachment point. And come back up to seated. Extend both legs long, Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold, hinge with a long spine, so chin out of your chest, chin out of your chest. Maybe you just bring your fingers down to the earth, pull the mat towards you, lift your chest, long spine, totally different. Take a big breath in, now fold. Yeah, drop your head. Notice how that changes the pose. Breathe. Reverse tabletop, 
Bring your hands back by your hips, bend your knees, feet firmly into the earth. Lift your hips, look up and lean back. For five, four, three, two, lower down fish pose. Bring your forearms down to the earth, your hands back by your hips. Lift your heart like you did in camel. Point your toes. Lift your heart towards the ceiling. Look up and lean back for five, four, three, two. Come up out of fish pose and set up an inversion. Your inversion, your choice. We have walls if you want headstand. You can put a brick underneath your tailbone for waterfall pose. Yogi's choice, get your hips up above your heart. Go upside down. Upside down, explore your body. When it's the opposite way around. And notice the physicalness of this posture. The physicalness of this posture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to work harder. Uh huh. Yeah, it is slight. Uh huh. Uh huh. Press it down through your elbows. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Like you want it. Like you want it bad. <laughs> then turn your mat around the long way against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. You got this. Fierce, one more time. Fierce, press it down fiercely through your forearms. More, yes, yes, yes. Press down through your elbows, pull your bottom ribs in, press up through your heels. Yes, squeeze into center line, pull your toes more towards your face. More, yes, Tadasana feet like you're standing on the ground. Press up, pull in, yes, with control. Good work, yes, good work. Yes, yes, good work. Okay. Taking a full body stretch. Hug your right knee into your chest. Supine twist. Open up, extend your arm, shift your gaze. Switch sides. Come back to center. Supta Baddha Konasana. Notice the physicalness of this pose. The connectedness of your hands to your chest, to your belly. The connectedness of your souls to one another. Extend your legs out long. Make any last final movements. And come into your Shavasana. Let your eyes close. Let them be heavy.
your breath. Return to its normal pace, its normal in, its normal out. Let go of controlling. Let go of resisting. Be here on your mat, noticing the sounds in and outside the room. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, make some noise, make a face, let it go. Again, breathe in. Make some noise. Roll to your favorite side and use your bottom arm as a pillow. Slowly press yourself to, to a seat at the top of your mat. Sitting tall with hands at heart center. And we will seal this practice with three ohms. <coughs> oh.
knuckles to your forehead center, touch in, and together we bow. Namaste. Thank you all so much for spending part of your Saturday with me. It's a joy to be here and guide you through this practice and watch you go through your practice. It's a joy. It's an accountability partner, right? I'm serious, accountability partner. Thank you. Yeah, give yourself a hand. That was a lot of good work. Yes.